This video is brought to you by Quizlet. Okay, I'm pretty pumped today because today we're talking about this NVMe case that is MagSafe compatible for iPhones. And you could use this with the iPhone 15 Pro as an external drive. First of all, big shout out to Quiz Lab for sending this over to me for review. This is a review product. They did not sponsor or pay for this video, but they did send this out to me to review and check out. And so all of the views are my own. And I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in what we have today. So why record to an external NVMe SSD than a standard external SSD? Well, here's why. NVMe's are super fast. So first off, this is just the enclosure for the NVMe. Right here I have this SSD that's one terabyte and it's an NVMe SSD. What we need to do is take this out, put this in here and so on. So the NVMe comes separately, but everything else that you need with the case itself comes with it in this package here. So it comes with this USB-C cable that we're gonna use that a little later on. And then you get all of these tools with it as well. Okay, I have laid out right here everything that's inside the kit. You get the enclosure, you get a flathead screwdriver, you also get this star screwdriver, you get a silicone pad for heat dissipation, you also get this screw right here, that's to hold in the NVMe SSD, and then this is the star screw that's on the outside that we're gonna use this to keep the enclosure closed. Something that's nice to keep in mind is that these three, this silicone pad, this flathead screw, and this star screw, these are all actually extra pieces there are pieces inside. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this star screw right from the top, just like so. Now we can open up the enclosure and inside is the silicone heat pad and then also this flathead screw that'll keep our NVMe into place. So let's take this out right here. We're going to just loosen this up just a little bit. We're gonna remove this just for now. Okay, for the NVMe, I've already taken it out right here for the sake of time. There it is, it's really tiny, as you can see. But what we're going to do is we're going to flip it this way, and then what we're going to do is take our NVMe and we're gonna just put that inside right here. We're gonna take our flathead screw, put it right there, hold this down, and now we can tighten this into place so that it makes sure that our NVMe is secure and locked in. We'll put on the silicone heat pad for heat dissipation, and then we'll put on the cover of the enclosure. We'll put on the star screw on the top, use our included screwdriver, and as we're done tightening that into place, that is ready to go. Everything that you see here, there's only two ports. This is for a 100 watt power delivery, and this one is for the host. This is the port that we're gonna to use to transfer information from our phone to the SSD, our SSD, to our Mac, and so on. And on the back, you'll see this smooth pad so that it can MagSafe onto the phone, just like so. But first, we're gonna format this. So I've plugged in my QuizLab enclosure into my Mac, and you'll see it right here in Disk Utility. I'm gonna hit Erase, and just so that you can see that I'm erasing it, I'm gonna rename it here. You also see the different APFS formats right here. So we're just gonna stick with APFS, hit Erase, and it's super quick, it'll format that quick because there's nothing on there. I'll hit Done, and then I'll eject it, and now it's ready to use. All right, now that it's all formatted, what we're going to do is we can now MagSafe this onto the back of our phone, just like so plug in the cable into the bottom, and there you have it. You have an external SSD NVMe, super fast, and you see it right here, it says USB-C because I can record to my USB-C drive to this drive right here in particular, and I can record ProRes log, and I have 144 minutes of recording time. So I'm recording now, pretty much just a fun little shot of my mat right here. I can stop and I don't even have to eject. I could just take this, remove this, plug this into my Mac, and now I can start editing straight off of this drive. So why would I need something like this? Well, if you record externally and onto an external SSD using your iPhone 15 Pro, you get higher frame rates while you're shooting in ProRes log, and also it saves you that transfer time of transferring footage from your phone that you're shooting footage from onto your computer. Even if it's iCloud upload, that still takes time but here you can shoot directly to your drive and plug this in and edit off of here. This is a pretty cool setup, so I would highly recommend it. If you wanna learn more about it, there'll be a link in the description below. Click on that if you want to, 
purchase from there. And if you do, it's an affiliate link. So I get a little kickback. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but it gives me kind of that referral credit for referring you to this product. So that is the Quiz Lab SSD enclosure that works for the iPhone 15 Pro. MagSafe, just like so. If you found this video valuable or useful, please like and comment below, share this video with friends. And if you wanna see more videos like this around creator tech, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.